Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> so what happened this time? I'm sorry. Why didn't you shout? My voice. It went. <laughs> One of them had a knife. Useless. A knife! This long it was! Enough to cut my throat and everybody else within a ten mile radius! Oh, God. It's no good. I'm from a different world. I'm not cut out for skullduggery. I'm from real estate. You're not from real estate. Real estate made you redundant. You're from the same world as I am. The hungry, broke, desperate world. Why don't you put your teddy bear down and face up to things? My briefcase! It means nothing! It's empty! It's not even leather! Jimmy? My name is Adrian. Your name is Jimmy. People have a right to change their name. What do you think you are? A bloody film star! I can't help it! I'm refined! You're not refined! You're scared! We aren't all made of leather. Some of us are made of silk. My ass. <laughs> it's nice to see you, Father. You're usually the other side of the grill. You look better in the flesh. <clears throat> and how is your little grandchild? The Protestant one. She's fine, Father. Mm -hmm. Little lamb strayed from the fold. The christening went very well. I don't trust their holy water, though, Father. It looked muggy to me. I think they've forgotten to bless it. Still in a family of eight. Five Catholics, one Protestant, one atheist, and one piss off isn't too bad. <laughs> there is one thing, Father. Our Jack. He's been depressed lately. All play and no work. It's the time of the sad mind. But he's usually the laughing one, the philosophical one. But now. I think life has just occurred to him, mm. and he doesn't like God's plan at all, Father. I don't suppose God likes it too much, either. You see, I've always brought my children up to know that some people are born with a silver spoon in their gob, mm. and some are born with a shovel. Mm. <laughs> true, my child, true. But Jack goes out there now with a grudge, Father. He's not contented with his life, mm. and suddenly he wants to be... Rich. Yes, Father. Has he not heard the words... And the meek shall inherit the earth. Oh, yes, Father. But he doesn't want the earth. He just wants money. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to come to confession and we will cleanse his soul. In the meantime, let us pray. Oh, dear Lord, look down on thy young, impetuous servant. 
Help him to find his peace, his contentment, and his shovel. Amen. <laughs> I suppose we all have our dreams, don't we, Father? They're all going to Sally Roscoe's birthday party tonight. Reminds me of my party days. Black silk stockings, feather boas. I turned all the boys' heads, Father. Mm -hmm. Like flies around a sticky bomb they wear. Mm. I hope you warned them against the sins of the flesh. I have, Father. <laughs> <laughs> and the sins of the stomach. <laughs> you know, I feel better now that we've had that talk. I suppose I was living in a little egotistical capsule, really. After all, we're all from the same mother and father, aren't we? Why should I be different? Lift that end up. I feel different. I feel... stronger. Good. Good. All that talk about real estate. All that shivering in the background while you and Joey did all the fights. God! I was a wimp! I'll drive. Do that, you dummy. You'll wear out the engine. Don't call me a dummy. Okay. Here, yeah, Jack. Sign Sally's card. Oh, I hate this skirt. What do you think? It's too tight. No, it's not. It's not a skirt. It's a tourniquet. <laughs> Very funny, ha ha. Why don't you just cut it off? I don't know why, but it makes me look fat. Wear another, then. They all make me look fat. Isn't it just possible, then, that you are fat? <laughs> oh, go on, knock me down, sap me confidence, make me feel inferior, cause me to kill myself. All right, all right, cut the drama. Who's going to give Sally a present? I think Billy should do it. He's the youngest. <laughs> or you, Jerry. You're the eldest. It must be wonderful to be him. Joey financed his sandwich business, Mum makes his sandwiches, I find him his customers, Dad gave him a van, he pockets the profits, scoffs his meal and then goes into a coma until the next bell rings. He has got Julie and the baby to worry about. And in between all that, he finds time to procreate. <laughs> We're a strange family, aren't we? He lives here, his girlfriend and his baby live over the road, Grandad lives next door, and my dad lives with Lilo Lil. <laughs> it's the modern world, isn't it? I wish somebody had shown me this modern world. Every time I chat a girl up, I get my face slapped. I had to give it up, my cheekbones were out to sink. <laughs> I mean, the difference is he's tired, isn't he? Now, round the corner, something exciting might be waiting for us, but by the time he reaches the corner, his rope runs out. Now, you have to get yourselves a sandwich for your lunch. I'm going out. You know what that means? I'm going through that thing they call the door, up that thing they call the street, and into that thing they call the world. All right? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I'll be back before you got the party, but in case I'm not, don't forget what we talked about. That is, if you haven't already forgotten. What was it we said you had all got to be worried about? Ace. <laughs> right. I'm off. Wonder where she's going at lunchtime. Maybe she's met someone. She's too wise for that. I think our mum's life's a sad one. All she thinks about is us. Yeah, and all we think about is us. If I was rich... <laughs> what I'd... do you mean, if you were rich? We are rich. Together we are, yeah. But, I mean, if I was rich, me on my own, or you, or him, or it, we'd be off, wouldn't we? A man might have had a different life with someone. We do have a dad, you know. He was only here for the party, though, wasn't he? He didn't stay for the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> Things are all right as they are. We're all safe and sound. We look after our man. We've all learned the pitfalls. We go out there to earn our pennies armed with a common cause, common sense, and condoms. <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody bring him round while I phone the pizza parlour. Why does everybody call them condoms all of a sudden? We used to call them... Billy! <laughs> Great, thanks. One cheese and onion, two tomato, two mushroom, and one ham. 
Fifteen pound fifty, please. Thanks. Tommy. The top one's yours, Grandad. I want it on a tray with a pot of tea and some tomato ketchup. What do you think I am, a bloody nabby? <laughs> It's all paid for, sweetheart. Cast an over there scene to it. Thank you. It's a new restaurant. Remember, you always wanted to go to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? If Mohammed won't go to the mountain. Italian. Oh, it was all he could get. Oh, you look better without your dust cast, Eddie Boswell. Stop Oh, Carmen. Hi. <laughs> I'm getting ready for the party. Oh, great. I'm waiting to go into the bathroom. The others are up there fighting over it. You sound different. Oh, do I? Sort of brusque. Well, I'm eating a pizza, you see, Carmen. <laughs> so where should we go after the party? Well, I know it doesn't usually stop you, but... Um... Somewhere quiet, somewhere dark. I've been thinking things out, you see, and from now on... Somewhere where no-one can see us or hear us. Somewhere where we've never done it before. Carmen, I'd like to go to the party and have a good time. You know, indulge, partake, lose all my faculties, without worrying about having to find them again later. <laughs> you always protest, Adrian, but you always give in. Well, this time, I'm not giving in, Carmen. From now on, I'm strong. I'm determined. And relentless, and ruthless, and ferocious, and treacherous, and and malignant. <laughs> malignant. And I'm sick of you pretending I'm good at it. All that acting, all that French film stuff, all that. <clears throat> uh, have you seen me cufflinks, Adrian? <laughs> uh, is that them over there? <laughs> They're all the same, sunshine. They're all the same. <laughs> it's no use. I can't get it out of my mind. Lilo Lily's finished. Gone from here. I'm picking her up after Sally's party tonight and I'm going to tell her. She's going to that party. That tart is going to the same party as our children. Luke, it's no good going on about it. Sally's her friend. You can't stop the world. I'll take her back to her place. And I'll leave. Tired of her now, are you? Yeah. Like you were of me. Yeah. You expect me to just fit in with the moods of your mind and the special requirements of your body? I haven't mentioned my body. Men don't have to mention their body. It's just there, isn't it? Like the weather. All I want is us back. Then you shouldn't have thrown us away. This. This is us. Sitting in our own little Russia. And where did you take hair? Hong Kong! <laughs> you keep on, don't you? I have to, don't I? To keep ahead of you. I'm tired now of all this. No wonder you're tired. That tart would wear anyone out. <laughs> <laughs>
Yet a hand, soulless woman, Nelly Boswell. You're a stupid man, Freddie Boswell. All that bitterness. All that rubbish about us. Liverpool or bloody Russia. This is us. Us all and... <laughs> Oh, Joey chose it. Oh, he's got style, your Joey, hasn't he? Yeah, he's always been like that. He used to sit in his pram waving at everybody like royalty. She'll knock herself out with those breasts one day. Yeah. You'd think she'd wear a bra. Stop them from trying to escape all the time. Yeah. Dream mostly. Is it lucrative? The actual dream is, yeah. I better make some black coffee. The Lord is suffering from withdrawal symptoms now that she's gone. Piece, Edwardian. Are these two stones are emeralds. Oh, Fifteen carat. Yes, it's a nice little piece. <laughs> uh, I could give you four hundred for it. Uh, I'll think about it. Four fifty. That's it. I'll think about it. That's what I'll do. Thank you. Four hundred and fifty quid. I could do me van up. I could go Apex to America. <laughs> I could buy four hundred and fifty quid worth of antiques and sell them for thousands. I could buy a new van in America. Think about it. It's the first crash of its type in the southeast. The idea is she asleep. Yeah. Oh, she's beautiful, Julie. We did a good job. <laughs> Didn't you? That pitch is awful. I can't watch that. Oh, you get used to it. You just listen to what the person's saying and imagine the rest. Why don't you call somebody in, Julie? That's ridiculous. I can't, can I? It's one of your Jack's mystery sets. It's not our Jack or us that's bad, it's the people we buy things from. What's that? My shopping list. Four tomatoes, half a pound of apples, one orange. I've got to cut down, haven't I? Shall I get back to work? You're not cutting down, Julie. My common wife and my baby are going to have everything. Common law wife, Billy. <laughs> common wife. <clears throat> You're going to buy six tomatoes, two pounds of apples and four oranges. And add to that anything else you need. I don't need anything else. What you mean is, you don't want to seem to need anything. It's pride, Julie. Pride's a killer. Write it all down. Anything you want, Julie. Anything. I'll have to go in a minute. My dinner's ready. I don't like doing this, ah, ah, Billy. Ah. Now, I've made quite a bit of my sandwich business, Julie. Quite a bit. Well, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, obviously, sometimes it's not as good as others. And sometimes it's even worse. There. It's done. Dear Billy, 
In the past few minutes, you have put on ten years. I could hear your heart pounding and the little nerve in your neck is doing overtime. <laughs> Francesca and I love you. Oh, I love it when you're sloppy, Julie. You'd better go and get your dinner or else your mum will be getting the helicopters out. <laughs> mm. Oh, good, here comes Billy. Now we can start. Oh, great, I'm starving. Press, Billy. I never get away with it, do I? If I could just get one spoonful down before someone says prayers. For what we are about to receive, may the Lord help us to pay for. Amen. <laughs> <coughs> Is that it? That was a short prayer, ma'am. Great. Something wrong, ma'am? No. You sound a bit funereal. Well, doesn't she sound funereal? Is that got something to do with funerals? Yes, Billy, it has. Um, you sounded a bit funereal, ma'am. <laughs> I've got my private problems, you know, like you do. And right now, it's money. I've got a common wife-in-law and a baby to keep, you know. I was going to buy a pair of those stockings that hold themselves up. Speaking as a mother, I'd be happier if they made knickers that hold themselves up. <laughs> No need to worry, ma'am. We know all the dangers. It's serious, you know. AIDS is serious. Remembering that is important. We know. We know. And who you know is important. <laughs> I'm busy modelling, aren't I? Well, I only know Julie, and Julie only knows me. I only know Carmen, and she only knows me. We're terrified. We don't know anybody, and nobody's getting a chance to know us. Hello? Freddie Bothwell. <laughs> Anybody want any more soup? Hello. Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, mate. When? L last night. Uh, well, I shashed around. Oh, it's grief and tears, then, eh? Yeah, all right. Look, I'll pop round after me dinner, all right? Okay, okay then. Yeah, ta-da. Dad lost a ring last night at the party. Says it must have come out of his pocket with his handkerchief or whatever. Oh, no one found it. Well, nobody's come forward. And I mean, they're not going to know, are they? I mean, it's a bit late, isn't it? No, somebody's pocketed it. Well, we knew everybody there who would do that. You don't know, son, do you? It's a funny world. It's full of funny people. What kind of a ring? A valuable one. <laughs> What's Freddie Boswell doing with a valuable ring? Well, he does buy and sell things like the rest of you, doesn't he? It was his mother's. She was too mean to give him anything. He must have mugged her on her deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, you're awful about our dad calling in Freddie Boswell and accusing him of stealing. Yes, well, when you're mortally wounded, you thrash him out a lot, don't you? Hey, Mum, why'd you let Dad get you like this? Because I married him. Because he's your father. Because of Lilo Lil. Because I'm human! <laughs> I'll burst him. That's what I'll do. I'll burst him. All right, all right. Finish your meal. I'll have a word. Cool it, son. I'll burst him. Cool it, I said. I'll burst you, too. I'll burst everybody. Adrian. I'm not Adrian. I'm Jimmy. All right, then, Jimmy. <laughs> you haven't met Jimmy, have you? He's tough. He's the real business. When he's riled, sunshine, he's rough. <laughs> now, look. You can't blame Dad for the way our man feels about him. He's just living his life as best he can. With Lilo Lil, you mean? We all need somebody. Now, why don't you go in and finish your dinner? We'll talk about it later. OK? Where's he going? What's the matter with everybody? God! Jack! Jack! Where do you think you're going? 
He's my dad too, you know. Fine, but why the rush? I'm in a hurry, that's why. Now look, we don't want any fisticuffs, okay? Not in the family. We save those for the outsiders. And Mum and Dad have got to sort their own problems out. We've got to be clever. We've got to help each one without the other seeing. We've I've got, got his ring. I found it on the floor at the party. I kept it. I was going to sell it and go to America. I stole it. Oh, come on. Don't come that big stuff with me. You stole it. I had it all worked out. I got it valued. 450 quid. It didn't bother me. I was... I was sick of being skinned. I saw it and I picked it up. And stole it. That'd be my dad's. Jack, don't tell him. You know how daft he is about us. Hey! Hey, hey! <laughs> Do you mind? Hello, son. Lift broken down again, has it? Oh, you found it great. Come on in. Take it. Take it. It belonged to me mother, you know. I've carried that around with me ever since she died. I was hoping to pass it on to your man when the time was right. <laughs> but it never is. Never is, eh, son? No. Come on in. I can't. Joey's waiting. We've got something to do. Oh. I only found it an hour ago. It was stuck on my shoe, in the sole. <laughs> I was walking along and I thought it was a stone. Dead lucky, eh? Yeah. I'm sorry you're not coming in for a cup of tea and a nice little chat. You know how I like to have a chat with my sons. Another time, Dad. Gotta make the pennies. Yeah. Gotta make the pennies. Only I saw you, you see. I saw you pick it up. I missed it as soon as I got outside, so I came back in. Looked around the door. Just in time. Well, maybe just a little drink. And a chat. <laughs> 